A lot of buzz in Frisco right now with the possibility of Universal Studios coming to town specifically to a part of the city that is really booming right now. With new homes, the PG headquarters, golf courses and a new resort hotel. Take a look at this time lapse showing just how much Frisco has grown over the past 20 years from green farmland to a full blown city. This development is something that Frisco dreamed about well, years ago, but back then they were missing something very important, something none of us can live without. Chris Sadegui shows us in this morning's Daybreak Rewind. Thank you for believing in Frisco. Universal Studios, the star, and a population of 200,000 plus. The future of Frisco appears bright, though there was a time it was bone dry. 5,000 people live in the little North Texas town of Frisco. They have just about everything they could ever want, except for water. So your community could literally dry up? That's correct, it could. If they have no water, they can't live here. Yes, in 1976, Frisco had no theme parks, no pro sports teams. They didn't even have one of the most basic necessities of human life. Part of Lake Louisville sits in Frisco city limits, but it's illegal for Frisco residents to take a drop. The Texas Water Rights Commission long ago decided that water belonged to Dallas and Denton. Despite sitting on a lake, Frisco depended on well water while Dallas and Denton took water from Lake Louisville. And this story from the SMU Jones Film Library showed the city's longest serving mayor, Harold Bacchus, concerned Frisco's bright future might die of thirst. There is not enough water for the small communities, much less the large communities, to use water out of the ground. Population experts say the little community will probably house 65,000 people by the year 1985. By that time, says Mayor Bacchus, Frisco will be high and dry. And it took long after 1985 until Frisco's population hit that number. Not until after the new millennium, which is also when the city joined the North Texas Municipal Water District, providing the water for the garden to grow. In Frisco, I'm Chris Sadegui. Now we're looking at a population well over 200,000. Oh yeah, and I remember when Frisco was just a, a little blip on 121. I've heard that. It's what it is. Anyone who's <laughs> been here for a number of years, they, they, they know. They know the experience of watching <laughs> that, that place grow. So Pretty cool. more growth to come.